G'day guys, I thought I'd do a video on my game recording setup. You might find it useful, you might not. I had a lot of trouble getting the sound set up so I had total control over what was happening. Check the description at the bottom for links to the apps that I'm using. Basically, I'm using an app called OBS Studio to screen capture the footage and the audio at the same time, and then saving as an MP4 file, which I can edit later on. The problem I found is that I often have different audio sources that need to be recorded. I have a headset mic which I use to talk to people in game and through Discord. Also have everyone's voices playing to me from Discord as well as the game stream itself. In total there's three streams that I need to capture. The simplest way of capturing everything is by setting up OBS to record whatever sounds go to your speakers or your headphones. The problem with that is you only get a mix of all three signals. There's no individual control over the different elements. My setup allows me to record the three different elements separately as tracks in the MP4 file, which I can then edit later by adding EQ or compression or even muting signals completely without affecting the rest of the stream. So the best way I've found to do this was to use virtual audio inputs and outputs, or cables. You need to get each audio source on a separate output and then assign those outputs in OBS Studio as different tracks. Uh, I use virtual audio cables from a company called vbaudio.com or vb-audio.com. Because I have three different audio sources, I purchased the VB Cable A plus B. It's donationware, so you can pay as little as five US dollars or euros, uh, and it'll give you an additional two virtual cables. I use the virtual cables for my game stream channel and my Discord channel, and then mix them into the headphone output so I can still hear both the game sounds and the people talking to me through Discord. My headset mic gets recorded directly to OBS Studio. Once you've downloaded and installed the two virtual audio cables and OBS Studio, you're ready to configure your setup. Go into Control Panel and open the sound settings. I play Armour 3, and Armour 3 only seems to play sound through the default sound device. So in my case, I've set my default sound device to Virtual Cable A. Now, what you need to do is go into your Recording tab, and for both Cable A and B, open the Properties, and tick listen to this device and change your playback through this device to whatever your headphones or your speakers are attached to. Once you've done that, now we need to configure OBS Studio to record our devices. As you can see, I have three signals coming into OBS. I have the mic signal, the desktop audio and desktop audio 2. Desktop audio is the game stream and desktop audio 2 is the stream from Discord. Go into settings and into audio settings and you can se then select which device goes where. I've set up desktop audio device to use cable A which is the output of my game stream. Desktop audio device 2 has been set up to use cable B which will be the output of Discord. Speaking of which, open Discord and go into the settings and select the output device to be cable B. Back in OBS Studio, we need to tell it what stream to record on what track. To do this, go to the output section and then go to the recording tab. I record four tracks in total. Track one is the game stream, track two is the mic, uh, track three is Discord, and track four is a rough mix of all the signals together, which I use as a quick reference and eventually mute it out of the final video. Under the audio tab, you can give the tracks names. When you're happy, close that window and click on one of the little gears in the mixer window and go to the advanced audio properties. Here you can select which stream gets recorded to which track. Desktop audio is the game stream, it goes to track 1 and also track 4, the rough mix. In fact, all the streams go into track 4. The mic goes to track 2 and desktop audio 2, which is the discord stream, goes to track 3. That's it, you're done. If you were to capture the video and play it using VLC, you would be able to select each individual stream. Or import the video into your favourite editing app, and then you can separate the tracks out and edit at will. Eventually you'll be able to put it all back together and form your stereo mix that you upload to YouTube or your favourite video sharing platform. I hope this has given you some help, and I hope to see you on the playing field. Take it easy.